Hi, everybody. Welcome to Life Management 501, making the most of what God gives me. You know, in James chapter 4 and verse 14, the apostle asked this question, what is your life? Now, how you answer that question profoundly affects how you live, because the way you see your life shapes your life. In other words, how you define life determines your destiny. Your perspective will influence how you invest your time, uh, spend your money, use your talents, value your relationships, and everything else in your life. That's why it's so important to learn to see your life from God's point of view. Now, in the Bible, there are three metaphors that describe life from God's point of view. And I want us to look at those three metaphors in this first session of Life Management 501. First, the Bible tells us life is a test. Second, it tells us life is a trust. And third, the Bible tells us life is a temporary assignment. A test, a trust, and a temporary assignment. I want you to memorize these three uh, principles because these ideas are the foundation for life management. If you're going to maximize your life, if you're going to make the most of what God has given you, you have to understand these three principles thoroughly. Now, in this series, we're going to look at five key areas of your personal life that you have to manage in order to make the most of what God's given you. We're going to look at managing your treasures, all that God has given you. We're going to look at managing your time. That's your schedule and your calendar. We're going to look at managing your talent, the gifts and abilities that God has given you. We're going to look at managing your team, the, the friends and the families and the relationships around you. And we're even going to look at managing your troubles because that's one of the things that's a part of life. But before we look at the details, in this session, I want us to see the big picture. I want you to understand why God gave you your life and why he put you here on earth. Have you ever thought about this? Why didn't God just take you to heaven? Why does he put you on earth for 10, uh, 80, 90, 100 years? Uh, now, I refer briefly to this uh, in the book, Purpose Driven Life. But in this series, I want to reinforce the concepts with you and drill down deeper into the details. So let's begin. First, you might write this down. Life on earth is a test. 